Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, on the 19th of August, was a busy day for Microsoft because they pushed out four Insider Preview Builds to the Windows 11 Insiders. And the first three I have already posted on earlier today, if you'd like to go check those out. And the fourth one is for Windows 11 24H2, which is the next optional bug fix C release update for version 24H2, KB5041865, which is now undergoing its final stages of testing with the release preview channel Insiders. And because it rolled out yesterday on the 19th, I would suggest that we will see that um, next optional update for version 24H2 rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs um, starting next week, Tuesday the 27th, moving into the rest of that week. And next week is going to be a busy week for Windows updates because Windows 10, 11, uh, the stable versions of 11 and also 24H2 on Copilot Plus PCs are all going to be getting their optional bug fix C release updates. Now, just a quick um, reminder that Windows 11 version 24H2 is the next version update that has already been made available on new Copilot Plus PCs when those Copilot Plus PCs rolled out a month or so ago on the 18th of June. And the update is expected to roll out to more Windows 11 devices uh, in a month's time, which means that update will be rolling out to the general public, I would suggest. Um, our annual feature update will start rolling out in the last week of September 2024. That would be starting the 24th the Tuesday of that week, moving into the rest of that week. And that will be made available as an optional update because optional updates roll out in the fourth week of every month. And if you want more information on what to expect, the new features and what we know so far, about this year's annual update um, i'll leave a video i did post on that which is quite an in-depth video i'll leave that link down below and in the end screen now the optional update that rolled out to the release preview channel um, insiders for 24h2 yesterday on the 19th is what i would just consider to be a very minor light release and because we are expecting to see the update roll out to the general public in a month's time um there are no front-facing new features with this update um, in release preview, and we only get three improvements. So this is a good indication things have stabilized now, and Microsoft is now getting ready for the um, public release, as mentioned in that last week of September 2024. Now, just to rattle these um, fixes and improvements off quickly, because um, just for the purpose of this video to keep you posted, the first one is for frame shutdown delay where the browser was ignoring its value in the registry. So these are all taking place under the hood. Um, DNS, domain name system, gets a deadlock fix, which is quite an important fix, where apparently a deadlock was occurring in the domain controller when it started up in the DNS client. And the third one is an improvement for OpenSSH, where the update adds a prompt that asks you to confirm when you turn on OpenSSH during the, sorry, using the server manager user interface. So three improvements rolling out under the hood, which is a good indication now that Microsoft is ready to push 24H2 out um, in a month's time with all those new features and improvements and fixes. So go check that video out as mentioned. And uh, um, when the update becomes available next week for Copilot Plus PCs, Obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.